Hey friends, and today, this box can only mean one thing. We've got a new guitar day coming right up. So yeah, I've been really, really looking forward to this one. And bearing in mind that the weight on this box says 5.5 kilograms, we know that today we're not dealing with an electric guitar, we're dealing with an acoustic guitar. And what's more, it's come from my good friends at Toman. And so we are probably dealing with, <laughs> you know it already, an acoustic guitar from Harley Benton. Can't wait to get this box open. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. So, oops, rip the heck out of these staples. They're always a little bit tricky. And let's open her up and see. Nicely packaged as usual. A nice, oh, hello. Bit of a rattling around in that box. Oh, actually, a bit of damage to the edge of the box. I hope that's not serious. And it's happened in the outside of the box too. That's just your standard coloring in kit. So let's get rid of that. Okay, and let's open her up. I've wanted to get a Harley Benton acoustic since TGU when I played several of them and they played beautifully. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, well I don't think the damage has gone right the way through but I know what was loose. Truss rod adjuster, Allen wrenches. There is a, haha, <laughs> this is a bit of a giveaway. There's a Fishman booklet in there. We have got the Toman checking leaflet. <laughs> We've got a Rescue My Guitar sticker. And let's open it up. Give you guys the first look. And there it is. There she is. Wow. Okay. Really, first impressions are fantastic. Something rattling around inside, which we will, we will work out. I guess that is probably a pack of silicon gel. There we go, oh, uh, no, nearly got it. There we go. A pack of silicone gel. And, rather worryingly, a little piece of wood. But we will have a good check and see if we can see where that's come from in due course. We will get a camera inside there. Wow. Okay, so this is a solid wood, solid mahogany wood guitar. The finishing on it is really, really very nice indeed. Um, certainly the lacquer is incredibly well done. Oh, I think I've turned the tuner on. So you've got a, a built-in Fishman pickup and that comes with Let's see, push both those together or hold it, oh, hold. There we go. And. Okay, people often ask me why I don't stretch strings on brand new guitars. Well, you would hope and expect that if it comes with a checking ticket like this, that somebody will have tuned it and will have set it up. And I can tell you for sure that this has had some attention. It's definitely been nicely set up. It's got a really nice, oh, they look like mother of pearl inlays, which is really nice. And there's a little mother of pearl band that runs around there. And there's a nice body binding as well. That's pretty. I like the simplicity of these little controls. They are 
very, very, uh, very flush to the, to the body. Uh, I believe the neck is mahogany as well. I think this is all solid African mahogany, which is absolutely incredible considering the price of this instrument. This retails at £329, which will estimate out at about 350, 360 US dollars and something similar in euros as well. So I don't know where else you can get a solid wood acoustic guitar with Fishman pickup system and mother of pearl inlays and all of the appointments that this has got for under $500. But the proof is in the pudding and we should have a little listen to it. Well, I have to say, the uh, the tone on this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really interested to hear what it sounds like plugged in, and I know you will be as well. Just quickly, this model is the CLD 40 SMCE. Almost sounds like Ibanez, doesn't it? So the CL stands for Custom Line. The D stands for Dreadnought. The 40 actually, I believe, refers to the 40 centimeter radius on the fretboard. SM stands for solid mahogany, the C of CE stands for cutaway, and the E stands for electronic, because it's got the Fishman system in it. This is the CLD 40 SM CE. Now, what I would say is that for that bang for buck, you are not going to beat this.
I think first impressions out of the box are stunning. Um, nice closed back tuners, which seem to hold tune fairly well. At least they're a good gearing ratio while I was tuning it up. I love the Mother of Pearl inlay in the headstock and the Mother of Pearl Harley Benton. It's a really pretty, pretty looking guitar. And my first strums on it, I know that this has got some great sustain. Okay, I have a small confession to make, and that is that I was playing this so much to do the demo with that I managed to break a string. So while this came with Daddario strings on it, it's now got a set of Elixir NanoWeb 12s. They're an anti-rust 8020 bronze. And yeah, I, these are my go-to strings of choice for acoustics. So what you heard or what you hear in the demo will be a set of Elixir nanowebs. Now, the other thing that I did while I had the strings off it, which was fortuitous, is I put a camera inside, just my phone, and had a look around just to see where that piece of wood came from. And from what I can see, and from what I can show you in the pictures here, all of the internal bracing, all the gluing, all the wood struts all seem to be perfectly in place. And I have to say, the build quality on the inside of this is just as nice as the build quality on the outside and so I think you'll agree that they do go above and beyond with these Harley Benton higher end acoustic instruments and I, as I say the reason I broke a string was because I have been playing the heck out of this because it's great fun to play. remember the tone of these from playing them at TGU and I absolutely loved these guitars and I really do feel that they represent a great value for money. I must add, talking about value for money and talking about money, I haven't uh, been paid to make this video at all. I'm making this of my own accord and uh, I, I haven't, uh, I don't even know whether or not I get to keep this yet. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I do because I've always wanted one. But there we are, the Harley Benton CLD 40 SMCE. First impressions out of the box. And I know full well that this guitar is gonna appear in a few more videos and will inspire some writing. So as always, let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. And you'll see more of this guitar coming up in the near future. In the meantime, have yourselves a very safe time, keep washing your hands, and I know that this whole lockdown thing is gonna be over soon enough and we'll be out gigging with these kind of things. In the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.